Good afternoon everyone, Hulkareem100 here. It is 2pm in the afternoon. I loved being a part of YouTube. I've made some amazing friends. I've been part of a great community. But so much has happened this year, last year and the year before. A lot of people remember well, some people may remember, back around New Year's 2020, I got out of a very toxic relationship and it was not good on both sides. And when that had happened, I ended up having a, a mental breakdown and it got worse as the pandemic struck around the world and I was not coping very well and then um and then I I ended up going into like a downward spiral my life fell apart basically to say the least I then started reaching out to people you know a lot of my a lot of my offline friends are not very supportive except for one i have one i have one best friend offline who is fantastic and has been great to me and then obviously you know i've got shirubi and um you know shirubi and my best friend are both my both my emotional support and you know they've been great to me you know outside of the internet but um most of my other friends you know ones that I grew up with ones that I went to school and college with ones that I met through through jobs here and there you know they they weren't, they're not so, they're not so great, you know, sometimes they get me into a lot of trouble, sometimes they can be very problematic, and sometimes, you know, um, we lose contact with each other, so when I was going through my emotional crisis, they were not there for me, and when I started like reaching out to a lot of my online friends, you know, I felt like I had more, more, you know, more and more of a connection and more people could relate to me and were very supportive of me. A lot of the people that I'm friends with here on this platform have been very supportive of me, you know, people from the gaming community, a lot of them have, you know, witnessed my good times and my bad times and have stuck through stuck with me through thick and thin you know and that has been fantastic that has been great and i can never i can never um what's the word that i'm trying to say here no one else can ever replace them that's what i was looking for no one else can ever replace them they are great people and I got very close to other people. I've made new friends over time and you know, this platform has become a part of me. It's become a part of my life and it has been both amazing and then it has been an a com complete emotional roller coaster. But nonetheless I did have a great time and I will be stepping out. As I said, you know, I've got to focus on the things that matter most. And that has to be my physical and my mental health. And that has to be my family as well. As I've explained, a few of my family members are very sick at the moment and they kind of need my help. And then also as well, I'm not doing so great myself with my health and 
I need to look out for myself as well. You know, it's okay to help others, but then sometimes you've got to help yourself as well. And I do want to, you know, entertain people and and make great content. But at the same time, you know, it's so stressful, you know, having to stick to one schedule and have to put so much commitment and effort into it. It can be emotionally exhausting and draining. And half the time, half the time, not many people come into my live streams anyway. Like not many people come in and stop and say, say, oh, hi, how you doing? Oh, that is so cool. I've never seen that game before. You know, no one has ever stopped and done that. The only time people have ever done that um, was like one or two. And that was, that was like months ago. I understand that, you know, sometimes I make my streams private. You know, if I'm making a video that's not going to be out until like God knows when or if I'm doing edits and stuff like that, then sure, I set my content to private. But when I am live publicly, not and not many people come by and show their support. So I just feel like there's no point anymore. I mean, I don't care about monetization. I mostly do it for fun, but it's basically... The point of the principle you know if someone's gonna turn around and say oh i love your stuff i love your content i like what you do you know and and say oh i'm i'm gonna gonna be rooting for you and then they don't bother you know it's kind of misleading and it's very dishonest and you know that's not a good thing i've seen it happen so many times to other youtubers and I've seen it happen to many of my friends on here and I don't like it at all, you know. And I wish pe a lot of people would stop doing that because it's not nice. And I know I've got a lot of mental health problems. I know that I can be a bit dramatic and problematic myself I mean like I said I was in a toxic relationship once and and um a lot of people were aware of that but at the same time I'm still human and people should not be so judgmental because there are some good qualities about me you know I'm a loyal friend I try my best to be a good person despite my past mistakes and you know I I do my best. I, I, you know, do as much as I can. I don't know what else most people expect of me, but I, with all due respect, I'm not going to change and be fake. You know, I can fake a smile, but I can never, ever fake who I am. That's just not me. You know, I see so many people be fake and... I don't agree with it, you know, being a fake person, having a fake personality and, you know, being someone you're not. It's, it's not going to do you any good. If anything, it just, it, being someone you're not, it, it makes you miserable. And I'm going to be honest with one thing. There was one time where, where I, one time, this was like, this was like when, way, way back, this was when I was younger, this was like when I was in my teens and stuff, like, I, when I was a teenager, I, I tried being fake just to please people, and honestly, I was miserable, you know, I was trying to please my family, I was trying to please some of my asshole friends, and, you know, I was striving, like, is that the right word? No. Craving acceptance. I was craving for for acceptance. I wanted to belong. And then it just, it wasn't worth it because all it did was hurt me in the long run. So when, 
when it comes to when it comes to you know wanting to be happy being fake is not one of them and i don't agree with it so if anyone wants me to change myself for just for their sake i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna do it for my own personal reasons so if i'm gonna change myself to to better myself i'm gonna do it for me and me only you know i'm not gonna be fake and and be someone that i'm not just to please other people so fuck that um i will be making one last live stream and and it will be a goodbye live stream i don't know what it will be you know it might be gta again but then again i'm thinking no i won't do that because you know a lot of people get bored with it because to be honest i do i do stream that game far too much and i think people do get sick of it but i I will be doing one last stream again. I don't know what it's going to be about, but there will be a goodbye stream. So if anyone wants to stop by, they can. And if you want to like, if you've been like a long time supporter of me, then, you know, feel free, feel free to promote your channel in my live stream, you know, show everyone your channel and support each other if you want. I don't mind, you know, I like... I like to help out other people on this platform, so if you want to do that, that's totally fine. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for, thank you all for, you know, being here and showing your support towards me, you know, the ones who stuck by me and never gave up on me, you know, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it more than words can describe and even though this year has been the shittiest it still has been the best in some parts and one of them is all of you you're amazing and i love you all thank you and to my wife sharubi i love you babe you you've been the best thing that's ever happened to me thank you for accepting me and loving me the way you do you're the best you're the best person that i've ever met and the best person i i know and i'm so grateful that i have you in my life <laughs> god i'm tearing up saints i'm tearing up like saying goodbye because i will miss i will miss this and I've been doing this for so long and I have I have grown close to a lot of people but this year and this year and last year and the year before has just been so so exhausting and it's so tough for me that it's affected my life quite a bit so that it, it it's you know it's stopping me from making time for other things that i enjoy so i have to step out and step you know step back from this but <sighs> thank you all i hope you all have you know a good new year's i hope 2023 will be the best for you all and i hope you all had a great christmas i, I wish you all the best Take care, peace out, Hulkarine over and out.